Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ninthrocket5918. Um, sorry if you hear noise downstairs. I have my, uh, my family over, um, so I'm gonna be very quiet, but the microphone audio is very good. And if you hear me talking to someone, I do got a kid who wants to play my VR headset, which I will let him, but I'm filming a video right now. Um, I am here to talk about an issue that has been going on with Microsoft, um, that I just argued with my mom with. Um, I am here to talk about Microsoft's downfall. They're making way too many bad decisions. The first thing that they're doing is the issue, if you guys haven't heard tonight, um, tonight they're shutting down, um, the Xbox 360 store, which really sucks. Because I love the Xbox 360 and it sucks. Why would Microsoft do that to me? And the Xbox 360, it's sad because the Xbox 360 is one of their most successful systems. Um, and they're shutting down the store. And I don't know why that is. They just are. Um, and Xbox has made way too much bad decisions. The first issue is that ever since the original Xbox, every single system has either had a default. The Xbox 360, when it first launched, was the Red Ring of Death, is when it kept overheating. Um, but then they later fixed that. And then for the Xbox One, had a good launch, but um, there is this new Kinect that they added, um, which if you don't know, is a feature, it's a sensor for like that tracks your motion. And they introduced that for the Xbox One, but for a newer version. Um, but apparently there was security issues with it, and that caused outrage, and people started literally protesting at Microsoft. And that really hurt them, so they discontinued the original module, and that's where the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S was created. And I have the white version um, that is not digital only, um, because I don't think they had digital only consoles then. So that also hurt them. Um, and then if you don't know, the Xbox 360 is one of Microsoft's most successful systems. Because I mean the Xbox, the first original Xbox sold decent. Um, but it wasn't until, it sold successful enough to keep themselves in the market. But, um, it, it only sold 24 million units. But their Xbox 360 was their most successful because even with the overheating issues... They still, um, sold a lot of units. They sold, like, 85 million units of their system, or, like, 92 million. So that is a lot of systems, if you ask me. That is a lot of systems. And so that's one of their most successful, and that's why it really sucks. They're shutting down their Xbox 360 live store, because even though I didn't really purchase anything, um, I'm gonna be staying up tonight and just reminiscing of how good it was because I am really going to miss the store once it is gone. Um, like I said, I didn't really buy anything off the store um, because finding free games ain't free and we are poor. Um, so there's not a lot of free games on there, but the only thing that's really going to miss is the arcade-only games because there's some very good arcade-only games that is only download only, only which really sucks. Um, but Microsoft is losing me because I used to be a huge fan of Microsoft, but now they are losing me with so much bad decisions. Another thing which one of my favorite YouTubers, Morris Critical, covered is Microsoft is making a lot of bad decisions when it comes to game. Because another reason why they're not attracting a large fan base is because they don't have good franchises. Like, look at Nintendo, for example. They, I mean, yeah, they got the Mario series, but they also got other popular franchises like Kirby... Pokemon, um, PlayStation has Ratchet and Clank, Astro Bot, they have all these good franchises, and the only franchise that Microsoft has created, and their only biggest one is the Halo series, and that is the only thing I know that is only their biggest series, because I don't know any other game that Microsoft has created, and they are literally buying out other companies that create good games like there was a popular game that was released back in 2022 called hi-fi rush it was a rhythm platforming game and apparently they like you know what it sold a lot of units so they literally bought out the company that created that game because it sold so good 
And Hi-Fi Rush ain't the only victim. There's also other companies that Microsoft did the same thing to. And they're just making t way too many bad decisions. Um, I think they're discontinuing the Xbox Live Gold. I may not be right, but I thought I might have heard a news lining, but I ain't going to say that for sure. Um, another thing I don't like is stupid subscriptions. Like, I literally got to pay monthly. Um, because if you guys don't know, Microsoft bought out, um, EA a long, long time ago. And when I mean a long, long time ago, like back in, like, 2016 or something, they bought out EA. And so now, every single time you download something that is on EA, you are guaranteed to pay a subscription. I cannot even play. Sorry, there's a bunny in here. My family also brought their bunny in here. So if you hear any racket and clinking, I'm ratchet and clinking. <laughs> um, but... Um, yeah, if you download any game that is owned by EA or has EA servers, you are guaranteed to pay a subscription. Because the only reason why is they're there for the server. So if you don't pay a subscription monthly, you won't be able to play the game. Because each game that is by Electronic Arts either has a server, and if you don't pay that subscription monthly, that game is basically useless. And when you're thing expires because if you if you pay the subscription monthly you get games for free um sorry if i keep dying for some odd reason i'm talking which is kind of hard to do um but yeah um game but yeah but yeah once you get yeah you're guaranteed to pay a subscription um and if your subscription does expire then because when you pay the subscription monthly you get everything for free basically but if that subscription expires and you actually got to buy it and it's gone to a point where the only reason why i am on my xbox now is to just only play um only watch youtube which i think is very sad so it's not even an xbox thing it's also just a youtube box now and so yeah they're just making way too many bad decisions and i Literally could not help but to talk about this issue. And they need to resolve it or else they are going to lose me. And it's gone to a point where they're almost starting to lose me. Because it's reaching a point where I'm getting infuriated by Microsoft. Because they're making too many bad decisions. Um, their new system, the Xbox Series X, which was released back in 2020, is literally failing. They've only sold 50 million units and is literally in last place. PlayStation is in second and Nintendo's in first. And, of course, there's all these other PC handhelds that are coming out. Um, but Xbox is literally failing. I hate to say this, but Microsoft should just, shouldn't have just left the console market after the Xbox 360 was. Um, and so they're just making way too many bad decisions. Um, and the Xbox, the only reason why the Xbox One X failed is because I, I think... That the Xbox Series X, some of them were called for overheating issues. Like, they literally smoke and overheat. Um, so it was basically the same thing that Microsoft's Xbox 360 did. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're just making too many bad decisions. And they are going to lose me. Um, they're literally, I literally read a thing about it. And they're literally, their stock, their stock prices are literally plummeting. Because they're selling not a lot of units of their systems. Because Microsoft is doing that. Um, like I said, Microsoft, I feel like, should have never joined the console market. I mean, they're good at making PCs, don't get me wrong. Besides that awful glitch that happened the other day. Um, they make good PCs, but their systems... It's all it is at this point. It's just a PC, but for your television. And even my Xbox Series S is compatible with my TV. Or my monitor. Going up. Come on, follow me! 
Okay, sorry. Sorry about the silence there. Somebody went upstairs, so. But yeah, they're just making way too many bad decisions. They are literally hurting themselves. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like I said, Microsoft is literally losing me. Like they said, they should not have joined that. Um, and if you also haven't also heard that even the Halo series that they created, because they created a live action of the Halo series, um, created a live action of the Halo series, um, because if you don't know, Paramount Plus released a Halo TV series for a bit, and that failed, and if you haven't heard, they actually canceled, um, after the second season, because the first season sucked, and I never watched it, so I can't get an honest opinion, but I never will, because the reviews are awful, um, the second season I heard was better, but then after that, they just canceled it. So, yeah, so that, also, that Halo TV series also had to hurt them. Um, but, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, all I gotta say is rest in peace to the Xbox 360 store, because it's not gonna be around for long. And I was gonna hold up on this video, but I had to talk about it tonight. Um, and I do want to end it, because I do have family members, and I don't want them to interrupt the video while I'm doing a video. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, um, and so if I could release this video, yeah, I just want to talk about it, they're making too many bad decisions, and that's all I got, bye. Oops.